Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier, and welcome to a quick update about the dead room. As you can see, I've got it all taped off on the floor, so I know the approximate dimensions. And I'm going to talk you through a couple of things that uh, we've got on the go. So it was about 40 sheets of drywall, 60 pieces of uh, 2x4, uh, about 10 bags of insulation, a bunch of random screws and some stuff like that. We ordered the two doors, they're going to go there, both opposite lefts, proper doorknobs and everything. You can see I've kind of scaled back the size of the room a little bit. You can still see that it's going to follow along here, avoiding the pull. The pull resonates very badly, so I'm probably going to wrap uh, automotive product Dynamat on that. Uh, this return here is going to get taken out and put elsewhere. And then what's going to happen is all of these rafters are going to get filled with uh, rock wool and then a bead of green glue. Just pay it, like, I'll, I'll talk about that soon. Basically, green glue is going to go on those uh, joists and then the drywall is going to get stuck to it. That's going to be not finished. We're going to box off the beam. We're going to put another one in here, same thing. And this is the edge of the room. So it's going to be very easy to get, in, get access to the top. From there, uh, the ceiling will more than likely be lower than the beam, the actual ceiling of the room, which is suspended independently from the existing uh, joists. It has nothing to do with the ceiling. The wall, you can see it's already framed and insulated. There's gonna be a layer of drywall and then another frame built into it. I don't know if you can see it. There is a two foot by four foot line. It looks like a little window. That's gonna be a noise trap. It's called a skyline trap. It's uh, two feet by four feet and it basically sits directly behind my monitor. 180 degrees opposite to that on this wall here, there's gonna be another one. And the idea is as the sound goes to and from, and then it's basically canceled out. Uh, that plus foam plus the walls being inert is gonna cancel out all of the uh, noise within the room. And the fact that the ceiling isn't touching the rest of the house is gonna isolate um, all the foot traffic, all the voices and everything from above. Now, I mentioned glue, green glue earlier. It's difficult to see basically comes in a tube like that and what it is is it's uh, basically got the consistency of silly putty if anyone's ever seen that before and it never it suspends the object off of something else and it never fully hardens so it's like a rubber um, the idea is once the new frame is built on the old frame uh, vertical strips of green glue are going to go on and then the drywall is going to get glued to that but the green glue suspends the drywall on the joists. This is really exciting. This is a one foot by four foot LED panel and uh, it's basically uh, 50 watts and has a retarded amount of like illumination. It's dimmable. They were a little bit expensive, but more importantly, this thing is only a half an inch, half an inch thick and I don't require drilling into the ceiling like I would if I had installed pot lights. I didn't want to compromise all of the effort in making a dead room just to start drilling holes in the ceiling. So this uh, requires only a very, very small wire, dimmable, LED, supposed to last forever. It was a little bit pricey, I think it was like 150 bucks, but uh, totally awesome. And one last thing is you can see here where the room is cut off. On this, shell, on this wall here, there's gonna be two shelves. That's where the PCs are gonna go. I have a server and my gaming rig, they're gonna be outside of the room, a lot of you guys guessed very correctly that that was exactly how I was going to do it and how I'm going to feed it is uh, these PVC pipes that you'd use normally for a um, vacuum cleaner, a central vac. So it's going to go long, it's going to come up and then there's going to be a hole for my gaming rig and then a hole for a 46 inch TV that's going up top there. Independent, two both, both computers can be seen at the same time. So if I wanted to watch a stream and play at the same time, uh, that's there. More than enough room for a couch. I'm going to sum up there because I'm looking at four minutes right now. Hopefully this was interesting to you. Uh, one last thing. You can see I got my LAN party rig all set up. So we're totally going to do that uh, in the winter. It's going to be badass. Anyways, uh, again, hope you find this uh, interesting. I'm going to do a proper time lapse. The Everything arrives Thursday and the construction starts Friday. So hope you have a great night. See you in the verse.